Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Sometimes I get tired of the way things are down here on planet Earth. Are you the same way? I'm looking forward with eager expectation to the time when Jesus comes back. I'm waiting for what? (laughs) We're in the book of Matthew, chapter 16, and Jesus says these words. Actually, Matthew says these words in verse 21. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed. And on the third day, be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, O Lord, this shall never happen to you. So Jesus was saying, I'm going to die. I'm going to go to Jerusalem, and I'm going to die. However, I'm going to rise again. Now, Peter hears the death part. He hears the killing part. He hears the going to Jerusalem part. But he doesn't hear the resurrection part. So you'd think he'd say, Oh, Lord Jesus, you can't go there. They're going to kill you. That'd be horrible. Wait. What? What did you say? That you're going to be raised? Does that mean you're going to come back to life? Does that mean you're going to come out of the grave? Does that mean that you're going to suddenly come back to life once again? What what does it mean? Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're going to go to Jerusalem. You're going to be handed over the hands of these handed over the hands of these sinful guys. They're going to they're going to put you to death, but then what? Explain that to me, Lord, this resurrection part. Hmm. Wait. What? Now we know with 2020 vision and having the word of God at our disposal that Jesus Christ went to the cross, that he went to Jerusalem in order to fulfill all those prophecies that talked about the suffering servant, the Messiah, going to a cross. They didn't say that specifically in the Old Testament, but according to Isaiah 53, he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. And all of that was fulfilled through his crucifixion. Yes, the leaders of the Jewish council made a mistake. They didn't know who they were dealing with. They didn't know that he was the promised Messiah. So they relegated him to a common criminal's cross. But this was the father's mission. This is why Jesus had to go to Jerusalem. He had to go there. He had to bleed, suffer, and die on the cross. But then, three days later, come out of the tomb. And this is the part that Peter did not focus on. He should have been saying, wait. What? (laughs) Now, my friends, this is the gospel. We know we're sinful and we can't save ourselves. But Jesus Christ went to the cross and died for our sin and defeated death through his resurrection so that our sins are forgiven and we get to go to heaven. But until then, we have this attitude. Wait. For what? As I said at the beginning of this podcast, I sometimes get so tired of the way things are down here, and I'm waiting with groaning, with eager expectation for something so much better. I think of my own sinfulness and my own relationship breakdown with people that I love, and sometimes that happens to all of us, right? We struggle with sin. We have relationship fractures. People die. There's political tensions and racial tensions Here in our country, there's world events that are spinning out of control. Um, People are getting sick and people die and there's pandemics and, oh, we just got over one and when's the next one going to be? And and all of this just seems to bubble up and rise up and I get so overwhelmed and so tired of it. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting with eager expectation for what? And you are too, waiting, wait, for what? For the time when Jesus comes back. For the time when the dead are raised. For the time when people who are left are caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. When there's a separation of believers from non-believers. And all the problems of this world are known no more. No more struggle with sin and temptation. No more struggle with relationship breakdowns and fractures. No more struggles with kneeling before the graveside of someone we've lost and still grieve to this day because they're not here. 
No more political strife and racial tensions and world events spinning out of control. No more pandemics. No more sicknesses. No more death. That's what I'm waiting for. We're waiting for what? For a time when Jesus comes back on silver clouds of glory and calls us, pronounces us by name from our graves and raises us up and then takes us home to be with him forever where everything is perfect. We're waiting. For what? (laughs) For Jesus to come back and until he comes back, We keep on trusting and believing. We keep on living for him. We keep on being servants to other people. We keep on through the power of his spirit, trying to obey his word and follow him as the Lord of our life. We don't do it perfectly, but thanks be to God, we have an intercessor, a mediator named Jesus who goes before the throne of grace every time we mess up and pleads our case and the father forgives. Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting for something better. We're longing for a better day, and a better day is coming. Peter had had just partial knowledge of what the gospel is all about. We have full knowledge. We know that Christ Jesus came and lived and died and rose again and hung out for 40 days and promised he's going to come back, and he will come back. We wait. For what? For the time when Jesus returns and he makes everything new and everything right. Wait. What? (laughs) Have a great day in Christ. And that is today's Daily Truth. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.